Hello my friends, it is uh, 23 o'clock or almost 23 o'clock, long time not seen my friends, um, recently I checked my my emails, my, my Desert Strike uh, emails and <laughs> yeah, you did a good job everybody, uh, I have like, I don't know, maybe something like eight uh, uh, replays that I have uh, received from you guys and all of them I need to cast so I will chronologically move on and last time when I have uh, stopped casting the games I, I stopped on the games uh, um, which were, sent, which were sent to me by Stalag and it was like you can see uh, 28th August so we have October for me 2nd October and yeah one month and five days I haven't done any uh, anything uh, on casting uh, any Desert Strike uh, gameplay so yeah the thing is right now I yeah I think I mentioned this in uh, my German and in my Russian videos that I um, that my activity in in YouTube um, has decreased a little bit uh, because of some very important things that are happening in my life right now so um, in short I am applying for something that uh, will change my life and I want to full focus on this and yeah if you want to full focus on something then you need of course uh, more time and then you want to uh, your your brain not like what is happening on the right, what is happening on the left, there, there, there. You want to just straight go and uh, completely give your, uh, your energy into this direction. And this is what I do right now. I'm applying for something and this something or this application process uh, requires a lot of tests and you need to pass every test so that you can get the job so if you don't pass one single test then you then the whole application process is out and yeah right now i have uh, passed something but still not everything and in two weeks or in two in between two till three weeks it will be decided and then I will be a little bit more active for uh, in YouTube again and but then when uh, if I get the job then of course uh, I will full focus again on the job and my YouTube activity will probably be even less uh, than it is now so right now you know uh i'm still making sports a lot of sports yeah i even uh integrated something into my um training so people who know me personally uh they know i go into f into the forest and also i go uh swimming in the sea in a sea and right now today i was swimming so today we have the second october the water was like uh, ice cold but I still uh, went swimming there so I think the water was like not sure but I would say something 20 degrees maybe 18 degrees so it was really really cold and yeah I, I'm just uh, looking forward to do something that improves your healthiness on a natural way yeah without any 
things that you can eat. Okay, my friends. Otherwise, we will have another one hour. Okay, my friends. So I just want to say something um, that uh, right now, yeah, I do sports. I'm preparing, learning, and um, all of this. Yeah, I need to grow, groove you in a little bit uh, so that you can understand why I do not make so may so why i do less uh, youtube activity and of course with that less uh the sad strike replay casting and so i do my stuff parallel from time to time when i have time i uh play uh the game what yeah i'm honestly saying the game that i at the moment enjoying the most which is metro 2033 uh, Redux and if I play this then I record this and then I upload this on my YouTube channel so yeah and now I, I was thinking a little bit yeah okay a uh, long time I have not uh, done any Desert Strike and that's why yeah maybe it would be fair yeah if I do uh, Metro uh, 2033 uh, YouTube videos then it would be fair if I, yeah, if I <laughs> do also something for the Desert, my good old Desert Strike uh, community with which I believe uh, the YouTube channel has started. Yeah? I think with Cossack I started, but uh, the Desert Strike community is one big part of my YouTube channel and that's why yeah, it is. It is needed that I also, uh, from time to time, do something for you as well. Sorry. Okay, my friends. So what do we have? Uh, oh, nice seven minutes conversation. But I think it was important uh, uh, things to say. Okay, so this uh, uh, game, one versus one game uh, between Parsifal and Starlock is from the end of August. Starlock uh, probably won't... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, my friends. Starlock playing as the uh, Zerg player versus Parsifal, the Protoss player. So one thing I can definitely, definitely tell you, uh, my friends, uh, the Protoss race in one versus one, especially in this matchup, is very favorite. very very favorite so if uh let us uh, see what oh no i don't like yeah from the words you can already uh, i will try i will try not to pause yeah only if uh very important then i will pause because otherwise we will have uh, one hour gameplay okay my friends so what i don't what i don't like uh what i definitely don't like to see this you can uh, see from my reaction when I say, oh no, what is this tier 2? My friend, uh, just, yeah, maybe I'm not that uh, advanced in one versus one, but I can definitely tell you, just put stalkers as a Protoss player. If you see, oh, I'm playing as Protoss and my opponent is Zerg, just put stalkers and that's it. Like. I don't know how many, uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think uh, nine, 20, 25 stalkers and, and then you can immortals, colossus, carriers, and that's it. The, 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 the Zerg player is, is doomed, my friends. This, this matchup. This matchup, uh, is, he, uh, is he about to abandon uh, the cannon? I wouldn't uh, recommend this, to be honest, but uh, okay, this is his decision. But uh, what I want to say, Zerg player is doomed here, and this matchup is the perfect example that Desert Strike is cleanly balanced, especially in this matchup. Yeah, I think Starlock is... Uh, is going to take the cannon but i don't like this uh this is like 
You know what I would do? I would ignore these TTs. Look at this, his cannon will fall. Okay, I have never. No, okay, maybe this is a this is a game uh, for. Yeah, I'm not fresh uh, because we have a very late uh, time at the moment, but uh, nevertheless, I'm doing something for. So why we have a uh, observer, my friend? Um, Yeah, okay, uh, I think he's on one gas. My friend, why you have no gas? But, uh, okay. So I believe this wa this uh, game was probably for experimental purposes. I'm not sure. So, okay. Now he now he makes stalkers or what? Okay, this uh, I have never seen to be honest. This uh, combination of the 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 T's and uh, um, what is this called? Kaiban. Sentry. Yeah, I forget uh, how the units are called. Now, uh, to be honest, he can sell the T's. You know what? I don't know how many people are uh, looking, but uh, usually, uh, usually, um, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me just quickly count. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I can maybe count uh, some ten people who who I know that uh, they are watching my Desert Strike videos. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but for others who are maybe not that much playing one versus one i can definitely tell you guys if you uh, if you have protos and you see oh my opponent is zerg then you can be happy my friends because this is probably the most easiest uh matchup for you if you are protos just make stalkers until a certain time and then depending on the situation immortals or maybe tier 3 colossus and then you can switch to Keras and that's it. That's it, my friends. This for this this is a very hard mission for, for the Zerg player to do anything. Okay. Okay, so let us... Uh, I think I have never seen how Parsifal is playing uh, his camera vision. So, so yeah, he... Of course, now we have uh, very, very little uh, stalkers, and then uh, Stala can of, uh, afford himself to go standard Zerg with Roach, Hydra, Queen. Yeah, sell this. You can sell this, my friend. Yeah. You know, you know why, why I say just put stalkers? Because uh, the thing is, the thing is, stalkers has, uh, in, especially in this matchup, very, very high uh, stack potential. And you maybe can, you maybe can see now. Oh, Starlock has uh, Hydras, very easy versus st uh, stalkers. And but the thing is. 
if Parsifal would make uh, Stalkers, then then uh, Stalak has only a Roach and uh, Ling and Queen. Yes. But yeah, until he can get Hydras, the the stalkers would uh, would will fucking stuck and uh, over overrun this roach uh, roach ling. It's it's a fact, my friends. Yeah. Okay, nothing really special is happening here. Yeah, recently by the way I played uh I think seven games versus Didi. I I remember I, I remember myself I was uh first first three games I was losing and then I was thinking fuck man did I did I become so bad or what? He this this DD uh won versus me three games in a row and then I was thinking shit you know you, you know the reason the reason why I, yeah sell this the reason why I not play uh one versus one because uh this if I play three versus three then this is so easy with my mood my mood never get I'm not getting happy when I win. Of course, a little bit, yes, maybe, but I'm not getting sad or something like this when I lose. It's like I have a constant mood. A constant mood, independent whether I lose or whether I win. But in 1 versus 1, if I lose, then I'm fucking sad. You can say it like this, yeah? Oh, not fucking sad, but... I feel not good, okay? I feel not good because I know I can, with practice, I can for sure be better. Yeah? I'm I'm an inactive uh, one versus one player. But if I win, then I'm, then I'm happy. And then I have a very high uh, fluctuation of my mood. That's why I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing it uh, worth that my mood will, yeah, that I will, uh, suffer, that I will suffer, yeah, that my mood will suffer from a fucking abandoned game like Desert Strike. It's just not worth, my friends. I can suffer and sweat in uh, CSGO, in Warzone, yes, but not in fucking this, yeah. And that's why I try to avoid one versus one. Of course, sometimes I test myself on people like Didi, for example. Yeah, anyway, I wanted to say uh, about Didi, uh, he win versus me three games in a row then i felt uh, bad and then uh, the next four games i win versus uh, him in a row and then yes <laughs> and then i went uh, sleep happy because we also played uh... see guys this is what i mean we also played uh, late this is what i mean even even with hydras this uh, this stack is uh, unavoidable. So what is happening here? He went tier 3 or what? Yeah, he went tier 3 and... Uh, so uh, one uh, improvable thing, what I would do in this situation for Starlock, I would uh, do more uh, Hydras to not let this stack happening. <clears throat> okay. If I was Starlock, I would sell Lynx, um, Overseer, okay, no, 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 we, we continue the game, uh, what am I doing?
Parsifal need to think about uh, Broodlots, to be honest. Yeah, I'm already I'm, al oh, I'm already sleeping, my friends. This is a, a little bit hard mission for me to uh, to cast to 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 make independent which video at this time. I I I, I wouldn't uh, you need this this year tier three. Uh, she's making queens. Very nice. I like this that uh, Parsifal is uh, making tier 3. Yes. This I like. Uh, but I think his brutes, uh, the brutes will be faster on the battlefield. Yes, there they, there they are. What about uh, upgrades? No upgrades. Okay, I like this also. Because in 1 versus 1, the upgrades are less important. Much more important is the stack potential, my friends. So you know what I would do in the situation of uh, Star Parsifal? To win this game immediately. Where's my calculator? Okay, we have... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, my friends. 24... 27. 1 to 5. 0 0.7. This is 2,362 plus, you can sell this too, uh, 4 multiplied 110 multiplied uh, 0 0.7, 2,670 and yeah, he can sell this too, this is 60%, yes, 60% plus uh, 125 multiply it 0 0.7 2700 and what minerals he has 400 ah no we, we, okay plus 20 seconds okay uh, let us wait maybe he can he he will do hopefully nothing uh he, he will do a coloss I, I pro i i know already he will do a coloss this i would do something else but let us check the colors. There, there we, there we. Are. Okay, so imagine he wouldn't do the colors. Okay, so he would probably have uh, five hundred. Yeah, to the time of uh, spawning, he would have probably let's say five hundred twenty. Okay, five hundred twenty uh, plus five hundred twenty. Okay, three thousand. Yeah, let's say just three thousand three hundred. Okay. Divided by five uh, nine zero. This is the cost of a carrier. Okay, he can afford five point five. So uh, yeah, five point five carrier. Yeah, this is like half carrier is the let's say three hundred minerals. Okay, so he can buy five carriers immediately, and he would have 300 minerals for upgrades okay uh, so he can uh, five carriers with plus two weapons versus three queens and this is nothing i can tell you hydras versus carriers is nothing oh i like i like that uh, he he that star like selling uh links at least yeah he could sell of course this uh, here i know what uh, how, how the game will develop here uh, parsifal will uh, play uh, stalkers uh, carriers stalkers uh, colossus and he will probably lose um and uh, starlock like oh i'm i played zerg and win versus the 
Protos, which is uh, more favorite uh, in this matchup. Okay, trust me, uh, if Parsifal would sell everything and make five carriers with plus two, maybe plus three uh, weapon upgrades, this this is nothing. This this versus five carriers, what is this? Unupgraded queens and hydras? No, my friends. Five carriers will yeah overrun this uh, this this ground army here. This is one hundred percent. Okay, every everyone who is uh, saying something else, throw your computer out of the uh, window and delete. Before you throw the, the computer out of the window, delete the uh, StarCraft 2 and they... <laughs> Okay, let us continue, my friend. Uh... So yeah, Parsifal would win uh, the game immediately here if uh, he did carriers. Maybe he was a little bit afraid that uh, five carriers wouldn't do uh, something. Or maybe he wanted to test, oh, maybe I can win with Stalkers and Colossus. One thing I can tell you for sure, if next time you both play and Parsifal is Protoss, uh, Starlock is Zerg, just look at this, he, no queen surviving. Imagine, yeah, just imagine, my friends. Just imagine, instead of this army, we have uh, five or six carriers arriving at the battlefield versus nine hydras. What do you think? Can nine hydras win five carriers with uh, plus two or plus three uh, um, weapons? If you think you, yeah, if you think you, they can, then then you are a very good player, my friends. <laughs> yeah, Stalak, Stalak is afraid. He 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 knows. He knows exactly what would the most dangerous thing at this situation. I, I'm pretty sure he was sitting and shitting in his pants because he was afraid of uh, of carriers. Because at this point of the game, he, his three queens with uh, his little uh, hydras and this is nothing versus carriers will do nothing. And that's why he's selling roaches and uh, and uh, thinking about Antier, which will be queens, right? Yes. So we can speed up a little bit. Yeah, okay. I would like to see uh, him selling this everything and uh, go carriers. He upgraded weapons.
So the question is what? No, first, first you need to force the Zerg player to do Karaptas, and uh, then you can make scouts. First, you need uh, two carriers. Yeah, with carriers, he is a little bit. He can do, of course, uh, queens. Yes, but with time, he will definitely uh, need Karaptas, and then you make scouts. But the question is, um, how can you, uh, yeah, in this situation, I can definitely tell you guys. Even here, I think uh, what he has, yeah, even here, I think uh, he could sell everything and uh, make carriers. So the question is what? The Zerg player cannot win uh, the carriers with queens. Yeah, imagine he you have you have brute lots. Okay, very nice. You have brute lots, which you cannot, by the way, uh, sell. So versus carriers, you have queens. Okay, this is very nice, but uh, only queens from a critical amount of uh, carriers will yeah sorry from a with a critical amount of carriers they will uh, win versus queens so you need karaptas you make karaptas the protoss will make scouts so how you uh, i mean in this situation, when the Zerg player is, in the, is in, on his planetary fortress, the Protoss player can just switch to Keras and that's it. This army is useless. And it's it's uh, instant uh, GG, I can tell you. So I think uh, to win as a Zerg player, the Protoss player, you cannot allow... I mean, if you play versus a good Protoss player, yeah, Parsifal is a good Protoss player, don't, don't uh, misunderstand, uh, not, not only Protoss player, he's a good player, okay? But sometimes uh, we try out new things and stuff like this, yes, um, maybe maybe this was uh, an older game, I don't know, uh, I mean, when nobody fall off the sky and can everything, knows everything, we learn with experience and uh, we learn with mistakes, with mistakes we get experience and then we avoid the same mistakes in the future. So I think Parsifal was thinking, oh, okay, probably uh, carriers would be a nice thing. So I can definitely tell you, if you play versus me, for example, uh, and I was Protoss here, I would just switch to carriers and that's it. The game is over. Instant. And so what can you do as a Zerg player versus somebody, for example, like me, if I do this uh, switch or if somebody else is doing this switch to carriers? I think you cannot allow, in, in the position of Zerg, you cannot allow uh, yourself to be here. Because if you, if you are here, then you give the Protoss the possibility to switch to carriers to do what he he well, he can do whatever he wants so to avoid this yeah to avoid this that you give him yeah the variation oh she can do this she can do this you need i think the whole game the whole game you need to be you cannot allow yourself to be here as a Zerg player, you need always to be as a Zerg player here. Yeah, because if you are here, for example, it, here is the Zerg army, here is the Protoss army, then the Protoss, he cannot switch, he cannot sell his Stalkers, he cannot sell his Colossus, he cannot sell his ground army and go on carriers, on air. Because if he do so, 
then he has nothing on the ground. And imagine these fucking brute lots are not here, but here, very close to your to planetary fortress. If they are here and the Protoss will switch and go uh, carry us, then the brute lots will uh, in two seconds uh, kill the planetary fortress. That's why versus. Uh, Yeah, in, in a good player, very good player versus very good player, you I think you need to force, you need to pressure. You need to always make pressure on Protoss and force him. Yeah, very important. I underline this again. Force, you need as a Zerg player to force the Protoss player to stay on the ground. You need to do this. Because as soon as he gets uh, six, eight carriers, it's GG, my friends. He, it's, it's, uh, the, the, then he is, uh, then the Protoss is, um, saying what is happening. He, he is, uh, influencing, now he, yeah, he is dominating the flow of the game. For example, if he makes carriers, then he f with carriers he forces the the desert player to do corruptors. Yeah, okay, with queens you can hold a little bit, but with time you need corruptors. So as a desert player, you need to force him not to do carriers. This is how balanced the game is, like. <laughs> As soon as uh, the Protoss player has one special unit, then it's over. Very nice balance, my friends. Uh, I mean, not friends, uh, I mean, very nice balance uh, battle net. Very nice. You did a very good job, my, friend, uh, my friends, from uh, battle net, developing such a beautifully beautiful balanced game. The Protoss gets one unit, and then it's cheap. So I think if I was a Zerg player, I would, uh, yeah, just play versus I don't know, play versus Xaluli uh, or or Didi. I think too, um, probably Fire Lord. If uh, if they are Protoss, they will just switch to Keras, and then this army will. Disappear in five, uh, two seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> to say it like this. Oh, nice, my friend. This I like to see. A little bit late, okay, but... So yeah, the Colossus versus Queens is of course uh, working very good. You think it is uh, deciding something here or what? What the fuck? Can you move or what? No, you can't.
Okay, yeah, the queen's arriving very fast on the battlefield, okay. To be honest, uh, Parsifal ne will win this, I believe. He, uh, I think uh, with time, um, Stalak uh, maybe do Kraptos, but uh, I mean, they will only play five minutes. Three carries. Yeah, uh, he. I think Parsifal will win this. This is uh, this is like this fucking end late game units. Uh, like I said, my friends, do you remember what I have said? Only queens cannot win this special units. This G. <laughs> let's let's call them the GG units. <laughs> What do the carrier say? Uh, car car carrier has arrived. GG has arrived. I will call them the GG units. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Like I said, without you cannot only win with uh, queens. See, even if you do mistakes as a Protoss player and make uh, carriers later than they are supposed to be, even even though you 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 can win, <laughs> it's very easy uh, race, easy race, easy game. <laughs> <laughs> Easy life <laughs> at the GG units. Plus three, plus three gonna wrecked. Yeah. Plus three GG units own. Yeah, the the characters you can forget already because uh, this guy has already more uh, carriers on the battlefield and yeah, see this stack. begins to disappear yeah let's let's uh, see how the queens are uh, smashing versus <laughs> the wall <laughs> yeah the GG units you cannot do anything versus the GG units. Zerk has no chance in late, uh, no matter what you do, it's broke. <laughs> oh my friend, oh, this is a very nice, I like what you, s I like what you write here. <laughs> there are some things, my friends. <clears throat> like I said, as a Zerg player, I think you need to force uh, the Protoss player to stay on the ground. And you can do this only then when you fight here. When you all the time make pressure. And I think you can only do this when you... Yeah, with links, you can do this. Then... I don't know, Link Roach, I'm not sure, but I would probably try out a uh, Link. If I have links, then um, the thing is, even if you have mass links with time, uh, this Stalker stack will beat the links. And you need to do something versus the links. Maybe then you can try to get brood lots. So then you have uh, link broods. Uh, 
Uh, I remember I have I have had a game very very long time. I I think it was one year or something like this. One year ago, I played versus Didi, and uh, he win a game versus me when I was Protoss and he was uh, Zerg. But back then, I was not thinking about this carrier transformation. I was probably think I was probably playing uh, worse than, for example, Parsifal. For example, I did no carriers. Okay, I think I did only Colossus and Stalkers. And that's it. Only this I did. And then Didi beat me there, I remember. But but I think you cannot take this game as an example because uh, Stalkers and Colossus you can beat with Queens and uh, Brute Lords. Yes. Yeah, you need to... I don't know about Ultras. The thing is, Ultras versus Ultras, the Protoss player can make Immortals. So, yeah, you with time, he will have a fucking mass ground army, but the Ultras will not break through this mass ar ground army because we have al also Planetary Fortress as a background uh, helper. So you cannot win with Lynx and Ultras. Because uh, he can do Stalkers, he can do Immortals and in with time Colossus. So you need something that is fighting from the distance. And that is also having a good stack potential. I think Lynx, Brutes, and then I would it's hard it's it's fucking yeah like Starlock said I mean Zack has a chance like 20% maybe but this is so fucking broken fucking this balanced game, my friends. I agree with Stalag here. Yeah, maybe we can see another uh, comment before the game ends. Yeah, okay. Okay, my friends. That's it. I think this was, even though 40, 50 minute game. Okay, yeah. Then we have, what do we have else? Uh, we have Terran versus Zerg and Protoss PvP. Okay, maybe I will play one game before bed and then maybe we can see something. Yeah, I go offline. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching, my friends. Uh, see you in the next uh, movies, my friends. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.